In this video, I will answer one of the most commonly asked questions we get about Zapprom Pro. And that is how to get Zapprom Pro to show on a second monitor, and then how to get the text to show upside down on the secondary monitor so it's seen correctly in a teleprompter mirror. Before you get started, there's some things you need to make sure that you've done. The first thing you want to do is make sure that Zapprompt Pro is not open. Make sure the software is closed because it will not detect a secondary monitor once it's been started. Second, you want to make sure that the secondary monitor is connected and plugged in and turned on. Third, you want to make sure that the desktop of your computer is exposed and no other applications are open and interfering with your view of the desktop. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to right click anywhere on the desktop. When you do that, a little window will pop up and in the window you're going to see a bunch of shortcuts. The one that we're interested in is the personalized shortcut at the very bottom. Once the personalized window opens, select change display settings. A new window will open known as the display settings window. In this window, you're going to see some drop down menus that will help you configure the display and a visual aid that'll show you an image of how your displays are configured. Currently, the way I'm set up now is with two monitors that are seeing the exact same thing on both monitors. If I run Zapron Pro with these settings, the secondary display option will be disabled and you will only see the same thing on both monitors. In order to get Zapron Pro to work correctly, you need to use what's known as extended desktop mode. That means that you'll have both monitors independent from each other. If you were using Windows Vista, what you would have done is right click on the desktop and hit properties and you would have gone directly to display settings. If you're using Windows XP, you would have gone through the same steps that I went through to get here, except you will be looking at something a little bit different than what I'm looking at right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the multiple displays and we're going to select extend these displays. If you notice now, you have an image of both displays. The primary display will be the number one display and the secondary display will be the number two display. What's neat about this configuration is you actually have extended your desktop, which means if you have an open application on your computer, you can drag and drop it on the second monitor. So we're going to go ahead and apply these changes. And we'll say keep changes and then we'll close out of this window. The way you will know it's configured correctly is you will see all of your icons and your desktop on the primary monitor and you will only see the image of the desktop background on the secondary monitor. Now that we've changed the display settings, let's go ahead and launch Zapprom Pro. When Zapprom Pro first opens, you'll see the script editor window and at the top of the window you'll see three tabs. The main tab, controls tab, and recording tab. Let's go ahead and select the controls tab. Once the control tab is open, you're going to see display options at the bottom right of the window. Under display options, you're going to see primary monitor, secondary monitor, image quality, and multiple display test. By selecting multiple display test, Zapron Pro will test to see if it detects two monitors. In this case, it did, so you've configured everything correctly, and you can now run Zapron Pro the way it was intended to run. The current configuration is that the primary monitor, which would be the laptop monitor in my case, and the secondary monitor both are not flipped, which means when I select Run Prompt, both monitors will see the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and close this. If I want to flip the image upside down in the display on the teleprompter so it will look correct in the mirror, I just come to my secondary display option and select flip horizontal. I also have the option to flip vertical or not use the secondary monitor, but for this case, I want to flip horizontal. Once I've select flip horizontal, I simply need to hit run prompt again, and now the text will be reversed on the secondary monitor and not reversed on the primary monitor. 